Hi, I'm Tom McIntyre, the author of Shooter's Bible Guide to Optics. Uh, this afternoon, uh, this morning I should say, I was hunting with uh, Preston Pittman, and he pointed out there were three of us hunting together, and there were three of us all had scopes on our shotguns, which he found to be very rare among turkey hunters. Uh, I, think, I think the scope is an invaluable tool for a turkey hunter because it helps you isolate that, that bird, get a, get a quick picture of him, you can look at him distinctly. You have a chance with a magnification of seeing if it's a, a, a jake or a, a, a full adult gobbler, how big's that beard, so forth. Make sure it's not a hen instead of a gobbler. Um, now this is a Nikon scope, and there's a variety of shotgun scopes made. This particular one is a one and a half to four and a half power variable scope. Um, it has a diamond reticle. That diamond covers at about 40 yards it will cover from the top of the head to the bottom of the neck of a turkey. So that is a way for me to actually range find with my scope to let me know if that scope, that sorry, if that turkey is, is within my range or out of my range or closer. All the things I really want to know before I go ahead and pull the trigger on that bird. Another thing, advantage of having a scope uh, your gun may not pattern where you think it does, or it may pattern off a little bit just simply because of the combination of choke and barrel. You may be getting a very good pattern, but it may be off somewhere, a little bit high, a little bit low, right, left. With a scope, you can dial that right in, which is not quite as easy to do with an open sight. So you don't have to think about how to correct your point of aim. You just get the scope to point where you want that pattern to be, and you're on the target, and that's all you have to do. I would not recommend going out and getting a, a, a big game scope, a 3 to 9 by 40 or something like that. That's going to be just a little bit more than what you want. Also, the quality of the lens makes a difference in terms of the clarity and the light you're getting through the gun. Um, as I say, look for, look for a, a dedicated shotgun scope. They're built probably a little sturdier, I think, for the recoil of a shotgun. Um, look around for price. Price can be really anywhere from... $75 up to $350. Maybe if you want something fancier, you, you can spend more, but I don't think you really need to. Um, this is a perfectly fine scope for me. This works very well on my gun. Of course, pattern it. Pattern it. Pattern it. Go out to the range. See where this thing is shooting. Find out which is the right load to go through your gun. Find out what's the right choke to go through your gun. And then, then line up your scope on that spot so you can center the pattern. You know where you're shooting and you're going to have a lot more luck bringing down that turkey. So I hope you'll look for more information about optics in my book, The Sport Shooter's Bible Guide to Optics. And also, if you get a chance, please look for my book, The Snow Leopard's Tale, a novel of the Tibetan Plateau.